particular about how I look. Well, anyways, what's going on, guys? White Kanye the Great here with another comic book read. Last week, we had Security Steve reading with us, and man, that, oh man, that was good. Well, I mean, I was good. He did okay. I'm pretty proud of him for jumping in like that. That, You know, shout out to Security Steve for... Attempting something, you know, jumping out of your comfort zone. So, same thing with Bruce. A lot of you guys wouldn't even consider reading a comic book, and here I am doing it every single week. Step out of your comfort zone, and maybe you're going to find a little bit more happiness and success. So, last week we were talking about the new God. Uh, man, I'm trying to remember what happened. Let, let's just jump right in. If you don't remember what happened, like I don't, just go rewatch the episode to me and Securitize Steve. All right, let's begin. And here we go. The Chronicler walks across the surface of the Earth's moon and watches strange gods unleash cosmic horror against each other. He looks at the planet below. This is where the final battle will happen, where the last stand will take place against Oblivion. He wants to hope for them. He wants to believe they have a future, but his presence says otherwise, and a greater power already is pulling him to depart. His Kodaks, filled with all historical records and undiscovered, he plans them over and over in his mind, and he makes a decision. I do not think my superiors would sanction my actions here, but I require more than this multiverse is capable of offering right now. I need clarity from one who has seen the universe as I am seeing it now, an observer. Wake up, little god. Wake up, Metron! Oh, I, I do not understand. You were destroyed some time ago. I have reconstituted you. See for yourself. And you are... I am a cosmic functionary of the greater Omniverse tasked with recording the last moments of dying multiverses, I am called the Chronicler, and I require context for this mess you have made. The multiverse is dying. How long have I been dead? Who lies at the heart of this destruction? See for yourself. No! You must understand, Metron. I have fulfilled my function for a millennia upon millennia by your relative standards. I have seen many incredible things on many incredible worlds, but they pale in comparison to this place. I have seen beings with extraordinary abilities, but never on this scale. Most of the stories I have written in my book are mundane. They speak of ordinary people succumbing to entropy at the end of a long decade. You must help me understand, but this multiverse is different. These stories are different, and now they will be ripped apart by nightmares rather than reaching a natural conclusion. All of this is new information to me. Penebula Free, the Dark Multiverse unleashed all the secrets of the multiverse, laid bare, ripped it to pieces. What is what I wish to understand? Why? It is difficult to explain. You know that I was once part of the great race of cosmic beings set against each other in the internal struggle of good versus evil. 
I watched it unfold over a millennia, and I played my part. I was the passive observer with my Mobius chair. I saw things from a macro perspective. The story I bore witness to consumed me. It carried such a tremendous weight, and I felt so dire. Dire enough that time and time again I betrayed my function by meddling in the affairs of gods and mortals, lying to myself that this was all in the pursuit of knowledge. But separated from the chair, I see it differently now. I find it all rather beautiful. I even find what this multiverse has done to you beautiful. I do not understand. You want to save it, don't you? You want to fix this multiverse and make it right, in defiance of your function. Yes. Then this multiverse is still surviving its function, and it cannot truly die. To be continued until next week, guys. Oh, wow. Man, uh, Rise of a New God, this one's a big one. Uh, I don't know exactly what part. We're either on four or five. This might go to about seven parts, uh, truthfully. Six, seven parts. We shall see. But basically, uh, the Chronicler has officially decided that he's going to do what he can to save this multiverse before the Batman Who Laughs, a.k.a. the Darkest Night, and the Mother of the Multiverse, Peneptula, finish their battle and destroy basically everything in existence uh He's going to try and save it because he's so interested in the stories. Kind of like White Kanye. Maybe I turn into the Chronicler many millennia from now. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, anyways, guys, hit the like button. Hit the sub button and the join button. I'm about to shoot this podcast. I'm a little uh, fuzzy brain today. So please forgive me if the comic book wasn't perfect. I did not sleep at all last night. I couldn't sleep. I, I don't know why. We need to work on that. Sleep is very important, guys. Make sure you guys get it. Chalewee! I'll see you guys in the next one.